We now have the top two tips you need to know to help your small business grow. Let's introduce our board of directors and get their advice. Entrepreneur James Reinhardt is the co-founder and CEO of ThreadUp, the largest online consignment and thrift store. And serial entrepreneur Larry Broughton is the founder and CEO of Broughton Hotels, operating locations throughout California and also in Chicago. It's so good to see you both. Hey, good great to be here. You have such a great story, James. You started your company from nothing. You just got $80 million from Goldman. I, I use your company. Thread up. Thank you. So, so you've taken it from nothing to how many employees you say? You About 700 now. Okay. What's something you learned along the way? Well, we've learned a lot. I mean, I think. <laughs> um, I think Distill it down to one thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think probably the biggest thing we've learned is, is to really focus on the culture at the company. Um, I think it's easy as you grow really quickly to, to think about the top line and the bottom line, but it's ultimately about the people. And I think great companies always get back to culture and about why employees want to work there and what they're trying to accomplish. And I think the biggest thing we've learned is that you can never forget that it's all about the people in your company. They ultimately help you become successful over the long term. Do you feel like you've had your culture right from the get-go or have you had to tweak it along the way? I think you are always tweaking it because what works for five people in a coffee shop is different than what works for 700 across four locations. But I think the key is to be really relentless about talking about it and always thinking about ways you can do things better. But yeah, inevitably, it changes all along the way. Have you had to get rid of people because they didn't fit the culture? Sure. I mean, I think, you know, the people that help you go from your first zero to a million mm -hmm. to the people who help you get to 100 million are different people, different responsibilities. And so I think, you know, the job of the CEO is to keep figuring out who are the right people to be on the bus. All right. All right. Larry. I am really going to recommend the people just ditch the pitch. Once and for all, ditch the pitch. Um, you know, I think the elevator pitches have their place, mm -hmm. uh, but too often I see we go to networking events and people are immediately going into their elevator pitch. And so I, a couple of years ago I started asking venture uh, capitalists, um, investors, and CEOs, how many of you have actually bought something right off of the first pitch that you ever heard? And nobody ever has. The truth is we want to do business with those that we know, like, and trust. And so I'm going to recommend that people do this. Instead of doing the canned elevator's pitch, start your conversations with this. When somebody says to you, hey, what do you do? Use the three, these three sentences. I hate it when, fill in the blank. I love it when, fill in the blank. So I, fill in the blank. So for instance, you know, I've got this uh, I mentor and coach entrepreneurs, right? So I'd say, I hate it when I see entrepreneurs out there floundering, they're struggling, they have no idea what to do, they don't have the tools, tips, or resources to get the job done. I love it when they can change these multi-generational you know, strain of poverty that they're in, and I love to see them get to their fullest potential, so I coach and mentor them, give them the resource and the tools to do their great job. So I say ditch the pitch. You know what? I love that. I love it because pitching after you've said it so many times, starts to feel canned, yeah. right? And if and you're it is canned. just having a normal conversation exactly. with someone, I mean, I, I find myself even when I start to talk, I'm like, oh, here I go again, yes, right? Right. Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, right? And so if you, and that makes it much more personal. Yeah. So just remember, I hate it when, I love it when, so I, and then you just fill in the blanks as you're talking. Yeah. I, right. we use, I use a version of that all the time. You know, I, I think it's great because it lets people connect with another shared way that they're thinking about, about yeah. a problem or your problem, and all it right, helps do you. build. What do you do? I mean, I hate it when you, know, you look into your closet and you've got a closet full of clothes you aren't going to wear, right? And I love that feeling once you've purged. Right. Yeah. And you walk in there, and it's like you can find the things you want, right? right. And so you know, we're relentless about helping people kind of have that magic moment, um, and I think everybody can relate to that. Right, that was Bing. Good. There we go. Huh? <laughs> All right, this is great, great advice, both of them. Thank you both. Thank you.